This morning I sat and I listened through the talk or various talks and the debunking of uh, particular people by a YouTube user by the name of Nowhere to Run 1984 and his debunking video that I watch or 15 parts of it I started thinking, well, this guy is quite rational, he knows what's going on, he's got a good idea. And I did agree with a lot of what he was saying. And then I went on to further videos. I will probably try to put the links down there. But at a certain point, it became clear that this guy was not as rational, in my view, rational, as I had first thought. His, um, talk of the end times, warning that some people will take advantage of it, but finally himself was pushing towards that concept of warning the Christians. So another sect attacking other sects, the division of humanity in the name of ideology. His worry was about the New Ages, they were the danger and the Christians would be persecuted because of the new world religion which was against religion and so on and I keep hearing this stuff over and over again and there are people talking of the end times there are the biblical ideologies of the coming of the beast and we are looking at revelations well the end times what end times Armageddon is just a city Revelations just means to re be revealed. Apocalypse is just Greek for something that is revealed. So what is the big secret? If you follow the, the Bible, you have to wait for the seventh seal because no one will know until the seventh seal is broken. So it seems ridiculous that Christians until this point of time have tried to say that they know the answer unless the seventh seal is being broken and no one's explained that. But saying that, I did hear an interview from uh, the woman who has 13 children in America who has her own bat form of Baptist church um, I can't remember her name now but it's all doom and gloom and yes there is a lot of doom and gloom and not being religious makes it very difficult for me to explain this without sounding strange and talking about religion um, the prophecies but I personally believe that a successful prophecy is the thing is the prophecy that never happens because a prophecy is a warning okay and it's when people wake up and realize the danger that they change path so if there are any prophecies in revelations the thing that should be revealed is the fact that there is a danger and we have time to change it. The beast which is used to indicate, indicate the Antichrist by some people. Um, the Quran says that uh, Jesus is the Antichrist. Um, various groups blame various groups. I see it as all ridiculous, it's everyone pointing fingers at each other when they should be pointing our fingers also at ourselves. In my view, the beast is the thing that we have created. It's our civilization, it's the machine that's driven our civilization and has become what today is known as the corporate machine, or I will call it the corporate beast. Ironically, it is quite scary in the biblical sense. It, the corporation has an identity as a human being, though it cannot be punished as a human being, which is bizarre. It is protected by a law which actually supports its existence today against the rights of the common man. You would have to be very naive not to understand that. Our system protects the corporation and doesn't protect the common man okay this has always been the case to some extent although if you look at various social systems look at the Romans and their slavery etc there are various different models 
But today we stand in a position where the corporations are responsible for the destruction of our planet. And you say, no, well, no, no, no. people will disagree with this. Um, there's oil spewing out, causing disasters, eco ecological disasters, where <laughs> killing people to take more oil. That's what Iraq's all about. All in the name of the sense of profit for the corporate beast. So, play on words, let's talk about false profits. Because in reality, the financial system is completely false, it's fake. So, there's your false profits for you. Uh, and how's the number of the beast? How's it going to take us over? Uh, sounds like I'm waffling, and to some extent maybe I am. But the beast is growing. The corporate power is growing. And as we move forward to this futuristic world, this brave new world, where you have the cybernetics boys with their dream, but, uh, Professor Warwick, his ideas, the uh, Venus Project, in their naivety, I believe, are missing the danger, though it has been pointed out by Huxley and Asimov and other great writers who they seem to have great esteem for, miss the fact that if they put the future of humanity into a man-made creation or creature or beast, then we lose our humanity. And they also miss the danger, or they think they can, prevent the danger of that beast being controlled by the negative aspects of humanity that have thus far brought us to where we are, greed, etc., control of power, by having the machine control everything. But who programs that machine? What safeguards are put into place? And Asimov warns of that. The irony of the future that we face when looking at the literature of the past is incredible unless we wake up and cease to be ignorant of our creation it's Frankenstein's monster it's not guilty nobody's truly guilty things have happened we are where we are now, and we're in a mess. We can't blame Prince Charles. He's not so free. If he were free, then the story of Lady Diana would never have happened. His position enslaves him, just as the Rockefellers and others are enslaved by their position. The illusion of their position are the chains, the same as the illusion of the position of everybody in this society are the chains that people have. To break those chains, we have to start realizing that we can change our model of society and therefore tame or chain the beast. That is what Charles was trying to say, I believe, while giving his speech recently. Chaining the beast, taming the beast. The answers are there, but nobody wants to see them. They're all busy talking about conspiracy theories. Charles has seen it, I believe, as has Deke and a few others. But unless we all wake up and realize that we have to start moving in a particular direction and we have to start detoxing ourselves from the system, then our future is that prophecy of doom and gloom. Don't make it an unsuccessful prophecy. Make it a successful one. Avoid it. Make certain that it never happens.
was talking about Charles of the Love Police, not Prince Charles. Make sure he knows.